Well, today is the day I'm going to replace the drive belt on the Snapper Easy Spin, the latest one that I bought. I got a generic belt here. This belt, drive belt, after it runs a while, it just starts slipping. You can see how loose this is. And this is a direct belt from the engine pulley to this pulley. And this pulley is quite corroded as well. And we'll get a wire wheel on my drill and clean this off and try to get that looking better. It's kind of rough feeling. For safety reasons, I'm just showing this with cover off. Don't do this, but I thought I'd show the other mower. The 99 one. It shows it was bought in 99. This one has a idler pulley with a spring on it that keeps the tension. Total different belt. And they got away with that one with mine, the newer one. So the most difficult part about taking this off is, of course you gotta take the blade off, is there is a cover there that protects the grass from getting on the belt, which is a good thing. And my other mower, I ended up having to cut those bolts off to get that cover off. They must use some red Loctite. I hope I don't have the same problem with this. That was the most difficult part. Then you gotta take the bolts out of the engine and slide it back to get that belt off. So there's no easy button or a genie blink to make this happen very easy. And then you have to take this bolt loose here on this drive pulley and slide this all the way back to get that belt off. So let's get started on that. First get the cover off on uh, underneath. I was able to get that first bolt out with a little help of a little map gas without having to cut it out, which is good. And I gotta take the spring off to get this other bolt under here so I can get that cover off. Well, got the cover off here without having to cut the bolts out, which was good. So now the hard part is done, getting that cover off. Just kinda slide this engine back here, take these bolts out and so I can get this belt loosened and then get it off on the pulley side. All the engine bolts are out. Now we're going to slide this back and uh, get this belt off now. Well, the belt's off from under the engine and it's really a matter of... It's a little different than the older ones. You can actually just slide this belt out from under the drive wheel without taking anything out. So let me do that. We'll have to do that off the camera here. And there is the old belt. Pretty worn. It actually is stretched about a quarter of an inch, best I can tell from the old belt. And it's just totally out of shape. So the belt definitely was worn. Let's see if I can clean that drive wheel. Well, this drive wheel is really clean now. It wasn't pitted, it was just rusty, and it's as smooth as it can be now. Using the old trusty drill here with a wire wheel on it, clean that up. So ready to put the belt back on. Well, this is much easier than I recall from my other mower. It's just a matter of lifting this wheel up and getting the belt under the pulley. And now I'll just need to put this back through and get the engine connected. So that new belt is on. So let's get it on the engine and bolt that back up. So got all the bolts in the engine now and this belt is really tight like it should be. So that should correct the self-propelled issue and this drive is smooth now as well. So I'm going to put this plate back on for the protecting the belt and get my chute on and we're going to give this self-propelled a try here. Got the cover back on and got the spring back on. Propel, it's going to work just fine now, I do believe. Things nice and neat under here, so we got to put the blade back on and put this cover back on, and of course, put our spark plug back, back in, and we'll be ready to give it a try.